Yes, and shape in geometry. And the focus is going to be on quadrilaterals and the interior angles of a quadrilateral. Now, what are quadrilaterals? Well, you remember, square, rectangle, parallelogram, rhombus, trapezium, and the kite. So, there's your five quadrilaterals, which we expect you to know. And quad means four, so they all got four angles and four sides. And they are what we call regular. They are regular shapes. So, clear, guys? Now, if, you, if I zoom into a parallelogram, now there's a mistake here, please. Delete these, those two. They are not parallelograms, right? It's a mistake. But a square is a parallelogram. A rectangle is a parallelogram. Then the parallelogram itself and the rhombus. So they are all parallelograms. Why? Because the opposite sides are parallel and equal. And the opposite angles are equal. Those are the properties of a parallelogram. Please do all of do this in your book. Don't do the mental maths, okay? Right. On the next page, right, here we have a kite. If you can look at this kite here, now if this triangle here, you remember is all three sides are equal because all three angles are equal. You still remember equilateral triangle? And if you add all three sixties, you'll get 180 degrees. Here I have an isosceles triangle, remember? Two sides are equal because the two bases are equal. Then this is an isosceles triangle. If I add 75, 75, and 30, I'll also get 180. So there I get 180. There I get 180. And guys, if I add the two 180s, how much do I get? 360. So, if you add the angles in a triangle, you get 180. If you add the angles in a quadrilateral, you get 360. Very important that you must remember that. Then the construction, people, we are not going to do. We are no more going to do constructions. There's no need for it, so just skip all of that. Right? We don't have to do this anymore. Skip all of that. And let's start with our square in detail. If you look at the square, a square is a regular quadrilateral. That's the first property. Secondly, right, of all the angles are equal and they're all 90. So A, B, C, D are equal and they're all 90. The opposite sides are parallel. Those two sides are parallel and those two sides are parallel. And the diagonals are equal in length. So AC and DB are equal. So AC is equal to BD. The two diagonals are equal. And the diagonals bisect each other. So can you see they bisect each other at angles of 90. So there's your properties of a square. And of course, all four angles add up to 360. Then next is our rectangle properties. It has four sides. All angles are equal to 90 degrees. Opposite sides are also equal and parallel. Don't forget. The diagonals also bisect each other. And the diagonals are also equal. But the only difference is where these are 90 degrees, these angles are not 90 degrees. Cool. Then the next rectangle will be... Now, we are not going to do constructions anymore, as I said. Let's just ignore the constructions. There's no need for that. Let's go now to the next one, which, of course, is our rhombus. A rhombus has four sides. Diagonally opposite angles are equal. That means angle D and angle B are equal. Angle A and angle C are equal. Remember that. All of its sides are equal. So it's like a square. All four sides are equal. The opposite sides are also parallel. Diagonals bisect each other at 90. Oh, so same like a square. Those angles are also 90. 
So this one equals to that one. And this one equals to that one. Is it clear, guys? And of course, all the angles also add up to 360. We are no more doing construction, so ignore that. And then the parallelogram itself, the, four, the next one, four sides, the diagonally opposite angles are equal. That means, guys, that angle D and angle B are equal. Angle A and angle C are equal. And the diagonals right, are equal. Opposite sides are parallel. Diagonals bisect each other. So AC and DB bisect each other. You see, guys? And this angle here is also not 90 degrees. Is it clear? Not 90 90 degrees and of course the angles also add up to 360 degrees the homework don't do it i don't expect you to do constructions anymore and the last one is our kite right the angles also add up to 360 we saw it earlier on two pairs of sides are equal length so those two sides are equal and those two sides are equal then one pair of diagonal opposite angles are equal. So this angle here is equal to that angle there. But those two angles, B and D, are not equal. Then one diagonal bisect the other one at 90. So this equals to that, and this angles are 90. But this BD is not bisected. Is it clear, guys? And all the angles add up to 360. You need to go and learn all these properties, people, of the five quadrilaterals. That's all I want you to do.